Welcome back to our class of 2021 basketball recruiting snapshot series brought to you by our very own Clint Jackson, our director of basketball recruiting. Basically what we're doing here, if you missed our first edition, which was Kennedy Chandler, we've identified about a dozen or so kids in the class of 21 that North Carolina has either offered already or probably will offer, certainly kids that are targets, we'll put it that way. And our director of basketball recruiting, Clint Jackson, has written articles that we run one day, we kind of take a, a healthy snapshot of each kid, and the next day we run a podcast where we talk about the kids, so we kind of fill in some of the cracks that are not in the article. So today, Clint, we're looking at Harrison Ingram. He's a small forward, uh, five-star kid. I believe Rivals has him as the number 13 overall prospect in the class. I know you like Harrison Ingram. We've talked about him on podcasts going back to last summer. So what's up with Harrison Ingram? Well, Harrison Ingram, I believe, just cut his list down to 10 schools. Um, I think based on conversations with him, some people around him, and a couple of college coaches, there's probably about four schools that are, are perceived to be stronger than others, of which North Carolina is one of them. Um, I would say that early on in the recruitment, Stanford and Purdue and schools like that were thought of being the leaders. I think Carolina has pulled uh, really pulled really up highly with those guys. Uh, you know, I think they've got a really strong chance in my last read on that. And uh, he's a guy that's going to be able to help in multiple positions. He's going to be at six foot seven, able to play about three positions, and also able to defend those three positions. So what are those three? What are those three positions? Um, I think his primary position will be wing forward. Um, that's his, his, his probably position wise, you know, size wise, his best position. But he plays a lot of point forward or point guard. So he's going to he's going to be a guy who can pass and set up the offense. And I think his jump shot and his athleticism and his foot speed is good enough to play the two as well. So I can see him playing one, two, and three in the college level. Just that jack of all trades utility guy. Theo Pinson with a jump shot? Early jump shot? I know Theo's developed it a little bit, but but he didn't have it when he got to Carolina. Yeah, I, I think he definitely shoots it better than Theo Pinson. He probably is not as, as as quick off the dribble as Theo Pinson, but very skilled as a shooter, very, very good as a passer. Yeah, I could see I could see some semblances there. We've seen some threes have a lot of success in Roy's system before, and one of the things that Cam Johnson and Justin Jackson had was great length on the wing, so they were able to get off shots. Rarely did they have a contested three-point attempt. When you look at Harrison Ingram, is he kind of that kind of guy where if he gets the ball on the perimeter, he's not going to get contested a whole lot out there? Yeah, I, I think so. He's not quite as, as slender as those guys were. He's, more, uh, he's, he's, he's built a little bit stronger. He does have long arms and he is six foot seven. So, you know, size wise, he is similar, but those guys were a little bit uh, more lengthy, probably with their arm length and their, their, their reach uh, than, uh, than Harrison is, but, you know, definitely similar position wise. Not everyone listening to this video or watching it has seen him play highlights or much at all. Some people have seen him a lot, even in person. You've seen him, you know about his game. What is something that even the people that think they know Harrison Ingram's game might surprise them as one of the takes you have about him? Very unselfish. He is a guy who uh, sometimes is not worried about how many points he puts up on the board. So you may watch him play and at the end of the game, you're like, okay, well, he only had six points, but he probably had 11 assists. You know, he's a guy who can find open players. I think he puts the team before he puts his own individual accolades. So unselfish and his passing. Those are the two things that really jumped out at me when I saw him play at USA. Okay, now with respect to UNC and this recruitment, I know you hit on some schools early on, but what is kind of your pulse regarding where UNC stands with Harrison Ingram? The last time I talked to him and I talked to some folks around him, I got the sense that UNC was very strong. In fact, I got on the board and I may have said at that point, I felt like they, they lead. Uh, there's other folks in the industry, Corey Evans, may say that, you know, Carolina is right there, but maybe a little bit behind Purdue and, um, you know, some other schools, Purdue and maybe Stanford. But I'm, I'm going to say that my read on it is that UNC is right at the top of his list, but I wouldn't say it's a done deal by any means. I think Purdue and, you know, Tennessee and Stanford and those schools like that have a really good shot. Do you know, have or know if there's a timetable for when he wants to, to get this taken care of? Because that, the football kids are a lot better at giving us dates. Hey, I'm going to do this by this date. The basketball kids just kind of keep stuff to the vessel a little bit more. With respect to him, do you have any sense of when this is going to, when he's going to make a decision? 
I, I don't. I, I kind of thought when he came out with his list, it would be a little bit shorter than 10, but it ended up being 10. And you know what? The kid's got the prerogative to do whatever he wants and what he sees as the best in recruitment. He's a smart kid. He's got a good support system around him. Um, so I, I think that we'll probably touch base with him and ask him if he has an updated pulse on that next time we talk to him. But I don't have any idea when he's going to decide. I, I don't believe it's going to be anytime soon. And you know, I, again, I think Carolina is right in the thick of things here with, with Harrison Ingram. This is just part two of the series Clint is working on, looking at the class of 2021, kids that UNC has offered, and targets whom they may offer. If you want to read Clint's stuff, you got to go to TarHillIllustrated.com, and it's premium content, so it's just $8.33 a month. You get all that stuff. Plus, Clint is very, very active on the boards. He engages people on the boards. He fields questions all the time about these kids. So the only way you get access to that Go to the site, sign up, just eight thirty three a month. You can be a part of that. Plus, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell. Anytime we upload one of these videos or football stuff, right, Tar Heel basketball that's not recruiting, whatever it is, you will get a notification. You can check out our stuff, and we upload a lot. Clint, that's part two in the books now. We got part three coming up, man. Thanks. Appreciate it, Andrew. Thanks for listening, guys. All right, for Clint Jackson, this is Andrew Jones. Thanks for stopping by.